Here's the current external setup of the chamber. You have the door here, and then you have the control panel on the side where the oxygen and the ambient air come in. You've got the uh, overflow port, the exit controllable port to let the air out, and then you've got the emergency port. Coming around here, you've got the uh, ambient air generator. This pushes the ambient air into the chamber. Uh, soon it'll have the air condition unit connected. This is where the oxygen tanks connect and push into it. This is the external setup. Latest modification. Updated the control panel. More simple. Okay, let's just go from start to finish. Oxygen in from the interface. Wraps around, comes up green. Here it is now just simply on and off. Before it goes there, we it goes to this gauge for the oxygen pressure. All right, then it comes around simply into the mask. Great, goes into the mask, comes out of the mask, and out the exit port. Great, air comes in, goes up in here, simply turn it on as much as you want at pressure and you can turn it off continues to flow down is connected and then uh, comes out of right there to fill this whole place with ambient air what I have what's the change and well I added this metal plate which makes everything sturdy just threw a little wood around it so I could hang it and it's good to go it's solid these are easy controls and uh, these two gauges in the back here, they're just sitting here. This should have to give us the ambient air pressure. Waiting for some more accurate ones, but uh, this one's pretty accurate. That one's a little off. So there we go. Hmm, not sure I recorded that, but time now is 2023. I'm going to open up the D-Press. It maintained about an 84, 85 degree temperature while I was in here. All is well. Uh, gonna do that now. <laughs> 